Joking, look, Scenes from the Post Auditorium and performances by Pure Praxis, an explanation in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week, I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, LinkedIn and the military, and access cards for the Mead High Pedestrian Gate. These stories and more, but first, Fort Mead and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service have teamed up for stream restoration efforts around the installation. Recently, Garrison Commander Colonel Yolanda Gore and Sharon Marino, the Assistant Director for the Wildlife Services of Northeast Region, were given a tour of the first restoration project. The stream is located behind the Army Reserve Center on Maryland 175. During the tour, Mark Sechrist, a biologist at the Wildlife Services Chesapeake Bay Ecological Field Office, explained what the project is trying to accomplish. If you picture here, the, the channel below us would be five or six feet wide, or, um, five or six feet deep and ten feet wide, just raw banks straight down, tons of sediment leaving each year, no vegetation on it. So I explained we kind of filled the channel back up to bring the bottom of the channel up. Um, which would allow it to flood on this floodplain, get out on the floodplain access. So before it had no floodplain access, the uh, flows are just stacking up. The more flow you got, the higher it got stacked and the more erosion that took place. So here we'll get on high flows, we've got a nice floodplain on both sides that'll be accessed by the river or creek. Uh, we'll get hopefully get sediment deposition if there's any there, nutrient uh, removal, sediment removal. And it's possible both on both sites that we will rehydrate the floodplain on each side to bring back potentially some wetlands on those sites. We've lost those on the tire reach here and the other reach on the other side. The, the hydrology just disappeared. Um, so that's one of the benefits from bringing the channel back up. You can read more about the Stream Restoration Partnership and the benefits for our local environment in Chesapeake Bay on the Digital Mead page of our website. Elsewhere, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. This year's observance here at Fort Meade featured a performance at the Post Theater by Pure Praxis, a team of actors that perform scenarios based on real-world situations in order to spark conversations. Peer Praxis is a social theater group and we're dedicated to cultural change. We get invited to different DOD communities and put on interactive trainings where the audience is engaged the entire time. So we show scenes on sexual assault, suicidal ideation, uh, workplace harassment, and our actors play out scenarios that end in conflict. And then we turn the conversation over to the audience. We bring them into the conversation. We're never lecturing at an audience. Instead, we really want to know what they see and what they have to say, because if we're coming in with the solutions, we're just looking at a PowerPoint presentation, right? We're telling people what to think and how to fix the problems, but we all have our own unique set of skills. So we want to encourage the audience to not only vocalize that, but to show them. Fort Meade's observance of Suicide Prevention Month continues with a workshop featuring the Washington Tattoo on Thursday, September 19th at noon at the Post Auditorium. In other news, LinkedIn is a professional networking site that connects professionals, employers, and students to share information and job opportunities. Recently, LinkedIn conducted a workshop at the McGill Training Center for service members and spouses detailing special services that they offer active duty and separated service members. The workshop covered a variety of topics, including free premium service for active duty service members. LinkedIn is, it gives you the opportunity to not only connect with others in the military and defense industry, but also helps you, you know, explore career opportunities, learn from LinkedIn learning, and military actually gets a uh, free LinkedIn premium, which you can sign up for at linkedin.com slash military. Currently, active duty service members are eligible for the premium upgrade at no cost. Retired, separated service members and spouses receive one year free. According to LinkedIn, premium members get four times more profile views on average and have access to 14 times more connections. There are plans to offer a continuing series of workshops, so stay tuned. Elsewhere, in response to community concerns about the safety of students having to walk down Rockenbach Road or Maryland 175 after typical school hours, for example, staying for sports practice, Fort Meade is now providing proxy access cards to Meade High and Meade Middle School students to access the pedestrian turnstile gate behind the high school. Students can use the gate up until 9 p.m. To obtain the card, students and parents can go to the Visitor Control Center outside the Reese Road gate. They'll need to show proof of enrollment at Meade Middle or Meade High and their military ID. If the cards are lost, it should be reported immediately. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.